DXB. It's in the game. Hey guys, it's me Ben back with another one of my quick video reviews and this time I'm looking at The Vanishing of Ethan Carter on the Xbox One, which is kind of amazing considering how long it's been. Uh, since the original release of this game and how it's finally come to Xbox One. But I think in many ways it's definitely been worth the wait because we could be looking at the definitive version of The Vanishing of Ethan Carter here. It's absolutely stunning on my Xbox One X. Uh, with 4K HDR lighting, it is gorgeous. This game is a picturesque marvel. I can't stress this enough. Every vista is truly breathtaking. And the creepy, weird goings on in this game are only heightened by that sort of impactful visual fidelity. Now, The Vanishing of Ethan Carter is a game brought to us by a little developer called The Astronauts. And it's taken a very, very, very long time to make it to this platform. Originally released on PC in 2014 in Unreal Engine 3, it got an updated version to Unreal Engine 4 that came out on PC and PS4 in 2015. And finally here in 2018, we have a release on the Xbox One. But like I said, on the X, which was my primary review platform, the game is absolutely gorgeous. And it doesn't look too bad on the S either. Obviously, it doesn't have that high-res look to it. It's not quite as stunning, but it's still fun enough to play. But this game is a... How would I describe this? A horror walking simulator adventure game. Now, it's definitely presented to you in that first-person walking sim uh, style. But the big difference here with The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, instead of having a very linear funneled experiences you often get from walking simulators like Tacoma or Gone Home, what you have instead is a large kind of open environment. It's not an open world, don't get me wrong, it's definitely a smaller environment than that, but there's no real directions or funneling or, to be honest, that much of sort of any kind of directed narrative. Now, the narrative in V. Ethan Carter is very cool, it's very compelling, there's horror elements, it's a mystery, it's all those kind of fun things which I obviously can't get into too much in a review because I don't want to spoil it for you, even though the game is, in for intents and purposes, nearly four years old. However, by not having that sort of funneled experience and very little in the way of guiding you uh, where your objectives are meant to go, what you kind of ended up doing in Ethan Carter is just sort of walking around and sort of exploring every nook and cranny of the environment and just poking at it, poking, poking, always poking. And you've seen already in this video that it has these sort of highlighted ethereal text elements that will drag you in, but they don't really appear until you get very close to them. So, you know, you're just looking in every look, nook and cranny, going up every path, opening every door when the ones can be opened and going in and just pokey, pokey, pokey. And that's... Kind of frustrating, but at the same time, when a world looks as beautiful as this, uh, it's not the end of the world. Uh, I found myself quite drawn in by the story and by the environment especially, and of course by that visual fidelity, which I will keep coming back to, because more than anything, that's what this game is. It is a showcase for the abilities of the platform. And I had a really good time with Ethan Carter. I don't think it's worth me spending hours going on about the different facets of the game. Um, the basic controls and the basic interaction of the game is that you're going to get narrative delivered via VO and via these kind of supernaturally sort of bent investigative methods uh, because your character seems to have special abilities. Uh, but again, I don't want to get into it too much because it's all very integral to the story and to the how the story is delivered. There are some puzzle elements, um, which some can be very trial and error, some can be a little frustrating, but most of it can be solved with a little persever perseverance and just keep on poking. You can't really go wrong as long as you keep hitting your head against those same kinds of walls. I had a good time with the Ethan Carter though. Definitely, it's a brilliant visual showcase, and for that, I'm gonna give this little game here that's finally made its way to Xbox One Four out of five stars. B X B. It's in the game.